Hello, we are Nerds of the West, and today we are giving you our thoughts on Retrograde. This is a roll and flip and write all in one brought to us by the lovely folks at Resonim, who we do have to say did send us this game, so keep that in mind when we are giving you our thoughts so you can decide if this game might be right for you and your group. At the end, we're going to put it on our Nerds of the West ranking board, which is how we review games here. We can't objectively say one game is better than another, but what we can say is what we would prefer to play if given the chance. It gives us a bit more of an overview of the game, gives us a chance to talk about all the little intangibles like setup time, table space, and actually at the end, if we enjoy playing the game, we the people who have just played this game. We have a Beck. Pew. We have a Reese. Pew pew. My name is Tom, and what you need to know about Retrograde is that we have these lovely little pads that have little aliens on them, and we have dice that will roll to hit those aliens. Every dice that we roll, uh, two dice equals one hit on an alien, but only if we can target it with one of these targeting cards. Uh, a targeting card will give you two choices of aliens, but also have some special abilities at the bottom, like this comet that you can turn any three dice that match into a hit on anything you want, uh, or these coins that will be basically an extra wild dice in the future, or power-ups, because this is a video game, of course you get power-ups, like being able to use coins for more hits, or rolling extra dice. Guys, quick word on the art, adorable, right? Like, this is arcade gaming in, in picture form. It's simple, it's it easy to understand. <laughs> Literally just arcade gaming. It, it, it's an arcade machine. Like a retro arcade gaming. Uh, I like the little the little uh, fold so that you get the scores up the top. Like it, it fills in the top of the the like the, the, the scoreboard at the top of the um, thing. Mm -hmm. I will say uh, the dice uh, probably aren't the most color blind friendly uh, because this red and orange is very similar. They are obviously different shapes. They have a lot of differentiation in the the number of pips that are on there, but mm -hmm. worth worth noting on a production quality level. Like, I think it's easy enough to distinguish the aliens between them that if you can't do it by color alone, then you can do it by eyes on the droid. So I do appreciate that. Um, I probably would have appreciated bigger dice, but I do get that fitting into a smaller box you probably don't want yeah. giant dice and this is very much a compact game i think like we're playing it on a big table but you could play it on a smaller table yeah. for sure mm. um i will say the box art's adorable but once again it is just the exact same like they, they, they've kept it limited but it works like there is no need to complicate this thoughts on the gameplay did you enjoy this first of all I enjoyed the first round. Mm. Um, no, that's, that's a fair point. Uh, I mean, if no one else has thoughts, I'll go in. Go, 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 go ham, boy. So, <laughs> um, this this was fun the first time, as in like playing a new game, learning how it works, stuff like that. After the first round, I felt that was everything, and the game itself was not strong enough for me to want to continue playing more rounds. Um, like, in terms of would I play this game again, probably not. I feel like I've seen everything that this game has to offer and that didn't grab me as much. Like, it was fun, but not fun enough for me to want to continue more after that. It's definitely, like, you, you just... Because you're so limited in what you can do, right? If there is not a card that you need or there is not the dice you roll that you need or you're, you get caught out as the last person rolling, uh, you, you end up just going, yeah, okay. Yeah, like to me, this is a good cons. Like this is good in terms of trying to convey a concept of a roll and write, mm. where it is just keep it very basic so that we can um, have a introduction to roll and writes because a lot of roll and writes that I like are quite complex, right? Well, well, I like roll and writes because they're simple and easy to pick up. You can crack them out with anyone. Yeah, and rather than play one game multiple times, you go, cool, you understand the concept yeah. now. We can play three different roll and rights tonight and you can yeah. see a lot of different things. And this is a very much a, you've never played a roll and right before, this is a good start here. Very simple take on a roll and right. Um, I, I also like that it's both a flip and right and a roll and right in one. Yeah. I, I haven't seen another game that does that or I haven't played another game that does that. And it's cool. It, it's a nice mashup of different combinations of stuff. And I like the addition of the, the cards are both, like everything's got the pips and the pips matter in multiple ways for scoring trophies. There's different abilities that help you go. I wish it was easier to get a power up. Um, I think the game would probably be more fun if you started with a power up. Mm. Um, 
but that's just because the power-ups let you do different things. Yeah. And if you don't get a power-up early, then you're kind of missing out. Yeah. I think the issue I have with the game is the fact it's played over eight rounds. It feels like it's over quicker than you think it's going to be. Mm. Um, the issue I think I had with both games is I got locked into doing certain things and got locked out of playing the game how I wanted to play it. And like looking at you guys, you both completed like three columns yeah. where I was stuck based on what cards I got left with. And it's just because there does come a point in which this is not a great game for people that struggle with keeping track of like several things at once because I think that's what my problem was. Like I ended up re-rolling dice that probably would have been helpful for me, but then because I was so focused on getting a card, I may have like unrolled that particular yeah. thing to get what I wanted it to. So, um, is, like, is that balanced by how quick the game is or do you think it drags that little bit too long for the chaos and randomness of it? I think that's always the balance, right? I think the way that we play it, it's always going to be a little bit longer. Like I think, if we were playing around table, we probably, we might go like one person at a time, but then also people might just like do their own thing at the end of the round and then just have a quick little summary of, oh yeah, I crossed off this, this, and this, and this, this, and this. And you don't have people being like, hang on, I need to check and see that, check your working. Yeah. I also feel like the game sort of punishes you a little bit for bad luck or slow thinking. Mm. Um, like being the last, like, not like it's sort of like oh you are stuck with what's left and you also have two rolls to mm. get what you need yeah right based on the choices that are left um luckily none of us had like a really detrimental turn that was screwed up by that but it does sort of feel bad when you're sort of like oh i was yeah. unlucky to not roll the things that i got i'm also very slow at thinking like yeah, like Beck had the worst luck for it. I'm also not very quick reaction wise. Yeah. So if if you roll exactly what you need, you're set. If yeah. you don't, you're suddenly like, I don't know what yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, and when the difference in scores is like one or two points, a round where you only cross off one alien instead of three yeah. is huge. But it's more of like in, in other games, like it feels less bad. I think this is the one that actually made me feel bad for mm. thinking slow or mm. or n being unlucky because yeah. it is, like, literally a waste of a turn. Yeah. Whereas other games that uh, do that sort of mitigate it so you, there's still stuff that you can sort of do. You're not you, like fully you can cross off a trophy, the... but once again, if you don't cross off all the trophies, it's not as worth, yeah. like, everything. Yeah. So, like, I, I don't mind how much there is to do, but I can absolutely see it being too much. Uh, and I think that flows perfectly into where you would rank it on the board. Because I would, if you want to grab our Nerds of the West ranking, yeah, I, Greece, um, oh, I would probably only bring this game out on a night where I'm playing multiple other games. This is not like, like Cartographers, right? I could play the shit out of Cartographers wow, because I can play multiple rounds of Cartographers. Uh, and there are different maps and lots of stuff to update. Uh, where this, if I was playing, doing a roll and write night, I could play this. But I'm not going to crack this out over Mantis, which is nice and easy, never can play space, board, space, space, Hollywood, like this. I don't think this is a bad game. I would play this again, but not super often. So I'm going to put it down the bottom under Rats of Wistar. How are you feeling, Beck? Um, I did enjoy it. It's just that last round where I did incredibly poorly, and not like super poorly, but. It says reset. It's like, it made me feel bad for how I played. And it's like, that's not cool. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't feel bad for how I played. It was dice that messed me up, not my own freaking strategy stuff and that sort of thing. But um, the other game that it kind of equates to for me is actually Space Base. I think the big difference here is that it is an easy to pull out game. It is incredibly easy to learn. It's a really good game to pull out if you're at a board game night with people that haven't really played games before and just want a good sort of intro to a dice sort of game and it is just super super straightforward it's like you have dice like you have cards in front of you you roll dice you match them up to what you've got mm. and then you do the best you can um so i would i would probably pull it out over space space just because it is uh easier to manage it's quick to learn and it's going to be very quick to pack up how about you reese i have no desire to play this game ever again 
I have seen everything this game has to offer. And yeah, this is, and even as like going back to the art, like I know you guys sort of like the art, but like it is such a literal take of retro game aesthetics and it's not so much a, a reimagining. It is literally like this is Space Invaders. Um, so like while the art looks cool, I guess, if you're into like that retro game, like super retro game stuff, it's not super creative for me. Um, so like there is literally no points for me to want to pull this off the shelf and play it. It's not a bad game. Um, I think it's a very like five out of 10 game. Um, but in terms of would I play it again? No, <laughs> I'd probably put it below 60 second cocktail. Which um, isn't even on which the camera. We, it, it, at the very bottom of the board. Ooh, put it back, put it back. Um, there we go. If anything, I'd put, it, it, put it down further. This is probably the game that I, yeah. I, I totally oh, play. That's a good reflection right there. I, I, I totally play 60 second cocktail way more. Um, like, it should be higher, but um, yeah, it's not interested at all. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's our thoughts on Retrograde from... damning review from Reese. <laughs> that's our thoughts. Uh, <laughs> everyone has different opinions, and that's why we like to do it this way. We do re-rank this board at the end of the year. Everyone who has played a game gets to vote on every game that they have played. We'll re-rank the board, and we'll see where Retro re Retrograde resonant. Retrograde fits in at the end. We have been Nose of the West. We do this live every week, and you can come and join us if you disagree, or if you have other thoughts or other games you want us to check out. Let us know in the comments below, in our Discord, on our Patreon. All the links are everywhere. We've been back. Space. We've been Reese. My name is Tom. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you next time.